I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your left from your right. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun, the inner glow that let you know to call your brother son. The story that just begun, the promise of what's to come. And I'ma remain a soldier till the war is won. Chop, chop, chop. All right, guys. So I'm, all I'm gonna say is about the gameplay is that it's SWAT. Uh, it's normal SWAT, but I choose to use my Magnum over my DMR against their DMR, and I just go fuck ham. And I do have extra uh, um, games of Team Slayer, Team Snipers, and MLG on my hard drive. But luckily, I can't record it right now because I don't ha uh, have Xbox Live. But I'll probably do it this passing weekend. So don't worry, I'll get new gameplays out, even though this is the last one on my hard drive. But anyway, straight to the multiplayer aspect. I'm not even gonna talk about campaign. I'm gonna talk about straight up. Multiplayer and what I saw in the first look of uh, Halo Reach or what uh, 340 Industries released on uh, Halo Waypoint on YouTube. You can go ahead and search it. But practically, one of the biggest things I saw, uh, obviously, if you're uh, if you're any Halo 1, 2, or 3 Halo player, if you're original Halo player, the biggest uh, thing that you'll see in the video is that they return the BR back. We're talking about BR. That's right, as in battle rifle, three shot burst. Uh, 36 bullets that means 12 shots and pretty much that's everyone's ecstatic to have that back because you know one of the biggest um, one of the biggest hates towards reach was uh, first and foremost the resignation of the BR to the demands of the DMR now that that's back where a lot of people are a lot happier and more and people are pumped up to play this game you, you read the comments go ahead check that out but secondly what I noticed this is what I noticed from my analysis that I kept replaying the video at specific times to watch um how they uh how the multiplayer aspect was and one thing i noticed is that i i believe so that this don't quote me on this but they took out reticle bloom and what reticle bloom pack practically did is reticle bloom is sort of halo's version of recoil where your crosshairs would practically expand when you shot too fast or you just shot in general or when you reloaded so that took out sort of that call of duty-esque feel out of, out of it bringing it back to the original halo where it was halo 2 halo 3-esque and um you know that that's that's pretty that was a a uh, key discrimination point against Halo Reach 2 because not many, that many people like that because the people claim that adding the reticle bloom would add some sort of uh, some sort of uh uh, skill level that oh yeah you'd have to time your shots but that was a load of horseshit no one really believed that and now that they brought it back I'm happy to see 3-4 industries really stepping up where Bungie left off and um, they're they're keeping the things that people like and taking apart the things that people didn't like so that's really an amazing thing to see I gotta give props to 3-4 three, three, three industries um, uh, furthermore a uh, minute detail or I find it minute but um, one of the things I noticed was that um, if you looked at the health bar, it doesn't have Halo Reach versus in the health bar, so that means I don't. It, it, this is what I think. There's gonna be no health packs because from what I saw, it was pretty much just Halo Two, Halo One, Halo no, just Halo Two and Halo Three feel, where um, it was just uh, uh, a uh, a shield bar, and pretty much uh, if you ran out of shields and got shot, you'd be dead. There's be there would be no sort of health uh, health bar that you'd have to you know restore by getting health pack so that's that's good to see because it's not really that big of a deal but it's it's nice to get that back um and finally one of the uh not finally but one of the biggest things i noticed was that they incorporate i believe they incorporated sprint into the actual g uh, game mechanics of halo reach because when when i saw um the sprinting in the gameplay i uh and i looked at the hud or heads up display i didn't see any um any you know icon that distinguished or resembled sprint in any form or way so what that led me to conclude is that they had to have you know incorporate into the game but, but like honestly like sprint just makes the game more fast paced it, it it seriously doesn't you know ruin anything it's it's not like it's invisibility or uh, that ground invincibility uh, f uh frame uh power up so that's really uh, you know intricate to see because I'm pretty sure it's not that big a deal it's probably gonna work out and it's gonna make the gameplay more fast paced so I really don't mind and finally the maps the maps uh they they starting to make their own maps straight starting to build from scratch up because um you know every time you see a map from the campaign you always get disappointed because you know that map was original it was just or originally off the campaign which made it you know it seems like they didn't put effort into it but now they for instance is making maps straight off straight off uh, straight from scratch putting on a competitive base and it should be fucking awesome and I can't wait for them to announce Forge 3.0 or, uh, or Theater because Forge 2.0 was amazing there were so many maps Halo's got the best custom ability uh, custom games ever and sorry for talking fast I just gotta get so much to this video thank you guys <laughs>